what are the things that you guys did specifically in this year off to really fine tune his game? And what can we expect to see from Trey the next time that we do see him? Because I would imagine that that game and the way that we saw him as a 19 year old kid versus where he's at now, we would see a completely different player potentially. So walk me through that. Yeah. And I think that's, that's the main point. And, and there's no quarterback that was hurt more with the way this process played out. Things right. like not having a combine, not having these, you know, private workouts with teams, then Trey, because you're right. I mean, what you know of Trey was a year and a half ago. That was the last season he played. He had that one kind of highlight game where they're trying to pick some deep balls and try to show off a little bit and it didn't right. come together. And, um, but, you know, talking about the resume you're looking at, it's, yeah, it's a year and a half ago. Like, and I know what, you know, the, 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 the jump he made in his development just in the last four or five months, mm. you know, and, and, and without a doubt. And we hope to show a little bit of that in the pro day. And you saw maybe some different things and how his footwork was more, you know, consistent and things of that nature. We tried to show a little bit of that off. But, man, I would have loved the opportunity for him to be at the combine with all those guys next to each other mm. making the same throws. I think you would have seen the difference. But yeah. to answer your question, um, you know, the focus early on, and, and Trey was different because he had not had a lot of formal training his whole process from high school into college, mm. from a from a development, and especially in the day and age now, it seems like everybody's got their private training. Guys like me and Quincy, since they were in, you know, middle school, and Trey was the exception. So he he was just a really raw talent. Um, and right away, there were like kind of little things that you realize he had never been exposed to before. The idea of how important it is to play with his full cleat in the ground. And, you know, most athletes want to be up on their toes and be athletic. But the reality is when we're trying to be consistent and generate stable power, we need to be grounded, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, things like working through a progression, right? We talk about, is he your first read guy? Can you work all the way through the progression? Well, Trey and the North Dakota State is part of their offense. They did a good job with that. And you see that all over his film. But he will also have a tendency to kind of be up and down as his eyes were moving throughout the progression. And so when your eyes are up and down and now it's time to throw, once again, that's not throwing the same way every time. And right. one of the things that led to some of his inconsistent accuracy in the intermediate routes, something that just working through progression is doing a lot of drills where we're, our eyes are leading our hips like left to right, right to left and staying loaded throughout that motion that right way led to him throwing the ball a lot more consistently. Uh, we worked to quicken up his arm path a little bit, you know, one of the knocks on him. And, and quite honestly, it's a funny class because Justin and Trevor all kind of have the, the one critique is they kind of drop the ball a little bit below their elbow on their initial separation, right? Right. Um, that was one of the things that we just wanted to try to clean up and, and accelerate the arm path a little bit create just a more efficient motion and sometimes that's just as simple as getting the foot in the ground quicker on the initial drive step which then is able to accelerate the arm path as well and you know but just having these five months which you never get normally in a draft prep right. process to to really spend the necessary time on these little things you know we feel really good about the payoff that, that you're going to see here um, like I said, I think we got to see a little bit of his pro day. Um, and, you know, whoever drafts him, I think is going to be really excited to see him.